Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I am coming on today with a quick project share for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I'm using the a coffee cup gift card holder, and this is what the die set looks like. You get several pieces with this set, including the gift card holder itself. You get a spoon, which is a really great size. And I did make a couple of projects that I wanted to share because I have to send one off really soon. I am really behind with um, Happy Mail birthday mail and all of that fun stuff so um, I wanted to show you a couple of the treat boxes that I created totally inspired by Carol Herlock um, she is on my design team and uh, on my design team um, so this is the first one that I created and I think it came out adorable and as you can see um, I layered it with the, on the front with the double loop bow I used a cupcake button that I had in my stash um, I did um, layer this part with foam and then i just used some trim that i had in my stash and a rosette and then la layered it with the um the uh ephemera piece or not ephemera but the little die cut piece that came with the card kit or the paper kit um and then i also utilized this little heart right here and popped it up on some foam um, i love the holographic paper i believe i used the lawn fawn holographic paper and then on the sides, I use some glitter cardstock to just make it pop. This is the bottom. And then this is the back. It says time to celebrate. And I did use the heart bow um, arrow straw topper. I, I believe that's, no, 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 I'm sorry. I think this is the um, heart rosette number two heart. It comes with that die set. Um, and I just put that on the back and it says time to celebrate. And I just think it's a super, super cute. And then this is the spoon, which I did create a shaker out of. How sweet is that? And then I have the gift card right in here for Hobby Lobby. Um, and then that just slides in like so, like that. And then I can add my shred and goodies on the inside of the little gift box. So that is the first one that I created. And then the second one that I made looks like this, and I think it came out adorable. My acrylic piece did break, so I'm gonna have to use probably um, some E6000 glue to kind of glue it into place, but I think it came out adorable as well. Again, I layered the front with foam to give it a little bit of dimension and just used some of the die cut pieces that came with this paper collection and just layered it on, front, on the front adorable here is the spoon that i created and it's just a little shaker and then the heart that came out of here is the heart that i used to decorate um, on the front of the coffee pot, pot right here and on this one right here in case you're wondering and um this is the side view i just use a uh, different uh, pattern paper and then I have it stuffed, stuffed, uh, stuffed with tissue paper. And then I do have the gift card holder right there where I can place the gift card holder. And you see, it does just allow you to um, put it in like that where it's not gonna sink to the bottom. The recipient can still pull it out and then push it back in. So that is a quick little project share for you today. This is the coffee cup uh, gift card holder die set and it is turned into a treat box. And I will link uh, Carol's video. She has a tutorial on how to create this uh, in the uh, description box below. Leave a comment. Thanks for stopping by and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.